Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Please let me know in the comments section below. We are back with another map review. First look, whatever you want to, whoops, call it. I didn't mean to do that. I was fiddling with my camera battery and dropped it on the escape key. <laughs> okay. So to start out with, let me tell you, this is the Sandy Bay map. Um, it is 100% season supported. It has special season or best special features for seasons, such as potholes um, that come and go throughout the seasons. Um, will get repaired throughout the seasons. It has road flooding during certain seasons. It has Custom lighting, which is, I, after I think, unrelated to seasons. I'm pretty sure it's in there outside of seasons. Custom texture. Two new plant types. And let me double check what they are. I know one of them is barley. Or no, not barley. Uh, give me 30 seconds. I have this up on my phone so I can tell you. Alfalfa. And... And rye. So I had to have my phone help me read that. The full description of the map will be in the um, my description. I wrote his links to it, obviously. Um, this map is available on PC and Mac only, but there is supposedly a version coming to console eventually. So, also, there is speed, um, custom traffic. That's supposed to have better protection of not hitting you. As well as there is speed cameras and police cars that will fine you for speeding. If anybody watched any of my other videos, I have a tendency to drive a little bit fast in this game. And maybe even a little bit fast in real life. I'm not denying or um, saying I do or don't. I have an 800 horsepower truck. Put two and two together. So... Without further ado, I'm going to hit this, hit this. I guess I kind of did that while I was talking. And if you remember me saying the Chevy is going to be coming back. Oh, there is five farms in total. Forgot to say that. That there is five farms in total. And I will show you all of them, obviously. The um, map review is going to be a little bit more detailed. And I do not have seasons installed right now. Um, I don't use seasons, like, ever. Oh, there's also custom plowing missions for if you do play seasons. So this is without seasons. If you're somebody like me and you don't play with seasons, which I do not, I'm not saying I'd be opposed to it. I might do a season let's play, but I really doubt it. It's... Adds a lot of... Hmm complications it's just a lot to keep track of i guess and i never did fully understand how every feature works and i just never really used it so mind you this is the first game i ever really used season or seasons with i mean I played around with it. I played in the snow a little bit in 17. And this is taking a minute to um, load up. But that could be a lot due to the fact I have so many mods loading. So take that into consideration. That the more mods you have, the longer you're going to be waiting on this to pop up. So. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these new... Um, uh, Review video for mods and maps. Okay. I hear game volume starting already. Hopefully it's not about the crash. That would not be good. So. Like. I have my game volume so shut off. I'm in there. Which I need to go ahead and just turn back on. You'll hear what I'm talking about here. Oops. 
Ce chaton. There we go. Did the game volume back. For you guys, for I didn't forget until halfway through the video in this review this time. Again, ignore all this. This is just my normal. I'm not used to loading, showing you guys that part of me first loading up the map. So, we are here at the... No, let me find out where we are. Okay, we are here. So, let's go over the land wow that we own. So, okay, yeah, these are all indivisible. We own all the farms. Yeah, we own all the farms to start out with. Um, we have the chickens and Cows and sheep here. Pigs over there. Or is that more cows? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's pigs. Those pigs. Is there multiple cow farms on this map? Or what? Oh, horses. Yay, my favorite. <laughs> Mainly because horses are kind of easy because they have the horse open mod. And you start out with all this coastal. And you start out with fields 21. One, two, any more up here? No, no more fields other than this. And let's go into the starting equipment. If I can get the right button here. Yeah. Okay, to start out with, we have a JCB. Um, fast track 4220. It has zero days, 0 0.1 hours, so that's virtually none. It's, yeah, it's an in-game visual equipment, so by now I would think you would know how much, but there's the horsepower. Zero days, zero hours on this Ford, or John Deere, don't know where I got Ford from, John Deere, 6135. Um, we have a Massey Ferguson Harvester with... I'm going to guess um, grain cart that holds the 39,200 liters. Oh, the header is 7.9 meters. Then we start out with a small plow, 2.5 meters. A This is a no-till cedar. Yes, right? I think. Um, yeah, it is. 3.6 meters. Spire... 36 meters. That seems huge. That seems huge in comparison to the rest of the equipment, but all sprayers do to me. I prefer slurry and solid fertilizer, so... Because I, be I believe in the natural farms, I guess. All the farmers I know fertilize all their fields with cow poop. Mower, baler, and cart. So, no trucks to start out with. And no placeable buildings to start out with. And it appears that the majority of the equipment is... Oh, and do we start out with any animals? That's a good question. No, we do not start out with any animals. There are some contracts ready. Okay. So, I'm going to walk around the main farm area here. Or... Yeah, I'm going to walk around the main farm area real quick. So you have the harvester and the cedar here. I have no idea where everything is. Just a forewarning. A barn with the baler and fast track in it. Uh, silo, sorry about that. I heard a police siren and that was odd to me. You're even finding some murder. I'm gonna guess this is supposed to be bale storage. Are these real bales? No, these are not real bales. And don't hold me to that. This is bale storage. For all I know is it's a bale cell point. Um, kind of bring up the map. Oh, that's why I'm confused. Okay. Sorry about that. Yep. So that is what I do believe to be a bale cell point. And maybe it is a bale storage. I'm not... I know an easy way of finding out. If I F11. See, this is what you gotta go through when you have issues reading. Um. Uh, 
Yeah, if we'd be a... Yay! Swallow bell. There we go. Okay, yes, that's the bell cell point. <laughs> then grain storage. I really like the silos in European maps. This up. What is this? Supposed to be a power washer? Does it have to function as a power washer? I don't see a ability to get a power washer stick, so I'm going to assume now. Or assume now. We have a silage pit. We have a door that opens. Oh, workshop and barn that slowly gets shorter. Interesting. More barn storage over here. Did I go in that barn? No, I didn't. Oh, I haven't been in this side of the building. Okay. I didn't realize. Okay, the spire's in here. The mower's in here. Everything is really spread out on this main farm. I could, like... I'm one of the people I stuff things in buildings a lot of times. So I could, like, stuff everything in the farm in one of these binds. Here's the John Deere. Mower. Spire. And did I just open up? Yeah, that, you gotta double click that to open both sides. Then we have a nice little barn with an outcrop that doesn't, it's just solid. Okay then. We put a door on it. Oh, well, I'm not saying that, but I guess they could have put a door on it. So. Does the man door open? Yes. Nothing in here. You could use it for equipment or grain storage, I guess. You have the um, grain trailer. Man, this is like the third video I've recorded today, so my mind's not 100% there. Uh, chicken coop. Over here is the house garage. Door does not open. I don't know why I checked that. Okay, yep. There's your sleep point. Yeah, maybe. Jump over. There we go. This is grassland you own. Kind of nice. Okay, I guess that's filled 21. Or no, it puts 21 in the... Wow, that would probably be really dizzying for you guys. Then we got the cow pasture. Wow, excuse me. I don't know if you guys heard that. I really hope you didn't. The rest of this is going to be by vehicle, not by walking. So, I'm going to open this gate. Maybe. No more look for feed and water points real quick. More fake decorative bales. And door in the barn that leads to nowhere. I don't know if that's the feed trigger. Okay, so this is not preset. You just walk up here, do that. And use the mouse to move things. And I'm gonna put that there I entered it and I don't know if I'm gonna use this map for anything so I don't want to just enter yeah, I didn't want to just put it randomly so those are not preset that's nice to know slowy tank which I'm gonna assume is the slowy tank I can't open the gate so yeah, I'm gonna assume that's the slowy tank Okay, now let's grab a truck and do some driving. We're not going to use the same truck as last time. We are going to use the same truck I used to drive around on the last map tour, I should say. We're going to use the... If I can find it. If not, we'll use something different. Uh, here we go. I'm going to do it in the green. That's not the right green. That is... We're going to set that to white, because if not, you won't be able to see it when I do this. Again, not the right black. And I selected the same black again, sorry. And we'll throw those on it, and obviously throw the tune. Some vehicles, it affects speed. Some vehicles, it doesn't. So, great time to show you the shop, now that we just tabbed over here. Oh, nice little mechanic bays. 
Okay, the shop symbol's in there. Oh, here's the door. Yep, there we go. So here's the shop symbol. We got some magazines, painting, and an empty office room. Uh, there's the repair area, the repair and sell area. We have some equipment that's sitting on here just for looks. We have a John Deere. And we have a um, Challenger. There we go. We're going to hop in our Chevy here. Good use for these little half-ton trucks. Even though this one's really usable for a half-ton. Um, I'm not sure where the gate is. Here we go. So I am going to bring up the map. There seems to be a lot of sell points in the livestock market. Down the coast. So I think we're going to start out by... That's flashing, but I'm just going to drive through it. Okay. We're going to start out by heading down towards all those um, sell points. And try not to run into things. Maybe we'll get caught by that speed trap and find out what these finds are really about. Uh, and we are on a European map, so I got to drive on the wrong side of the road. For me. It's not for you guys, but for me, or for Europeans, it's obviously the right side of the road for the majority of you guys. That's cool, a little construction site. I honestly thought it was going to be a sell point for something at first. That was some of the custom AIs, as you can see. There was a tractor and a guy on a scooter, and the guy on the scooter seemed like he was flying. So here is one of our cell points in here. That's cool. You just kind of back up to it, which I do want to go over crop types here. So here's our cell points, and the prices are pretty normal. I do want to look for the L. Ah, uh, here it is. So, if I was. Not sure what some of that stuff has to be, is. <laughs> but, there's that. Little quick run through. See, I, part of me wants to drive an interior view. More like sand and stuff. I guess I'll go this way because there's another cell point back here. And another. So it appears, excuse me, that you can sell sand and stuff from the look of things. Didn't say anything about it in the description, at least the parts I read. I skimmed over it. I didn't read the whole thing, whole thing. I don't believe there's anything back here. But we're going to fade through a building and come back here anyway. Yeah. I'm going to... Okay, that has no collision. Does this have collision? No. So apparently them piles have no collision if you do get somehow trapped back there. And... The fences seem like they kind of show up a little. So, slowly. And this is the livestock market. Or maybe it isn't. I don't know. I know the livestock market down here. That was a different... I'm an idiot. She... Or... Apparently there's nine different pins on this map. Wow. At least that's what I'm going to assume that is. Remember, guys, I have a couple of readings, so if they get anything like that wrong, part of the reason they don't use seasons. As well as I almost never buy my animals once. Like, that's basically the end of the map, so we're not going to go down there any farther. 
Next, we are going to head this way towards one of the other farms. I don't know if I'm going to hit every road on the map. Wow, this is a hill. I mean, it's not that bad on this, but man, this is a hill. And that road wraps up that direction to a lookout, which I'm kind of curious about, even though it's kind of unnecessary. I'm kind of curious. What's up here? That appears to be a small farm area, kind of, up here. It did mention five farms, so. Here's one of them. Boy, it didn't look to be much to it, so I don't want to get too much in depth. It appears to be a lot bigger of a map than it is, because a lot of it's water. Whoa. Uh, don't ask me how that happened. Also, apparently the roof has no collision on this truck. That's... You find out about things after the mod review. I meant not to flip it during the mod review. This is why you don't drive ridiculously fast when you shouldn't. Oh, this is a lighthouse. Okay. I'm kind of glad I drove up here because I'm pretty sure this is like the highest point in the map. And my distancing just warning you is a little weird. Because it's kind of short. I am not going to go up in the lighthouse, though. That would take way too long. If you want to see up in the lighthouse, download it and go see it in the lighthouse. So on the way back, I'll drive a little bit in cockpit. So it's a little weird for me to try to stay really far zoomed out, but you guys can really see. Sorry, my rendering distance isn't very high. You can get more of a view of the farm here. Also, if I missed one of the farms, I'm sorry about that. Because, honestly, I would have missed that one at first. This is another cell point. Hopefully it's not the only thing on the road. I'm glad I didn't go with like a big 6x6 six six for this map or something ridiculous like that. You got a playground, a mechanic shop, you have a sail point back there, and a little road that wraps around. So this map does, since it, there is five farms on it, and I'm gonna. Don't know if that's a farm or what that is. I guess it may stay right there. Well, I'm coming like... Wow, that's bouncy. That's rough. Okay, but this is just like a broken down castle thing. I mean, I could drive across that bridge, but I really have no need or want to. I wasn't sure if this is another small farmyard, so... I didn't really... But yeah, this has like a good role-playing potential, I feel. But there was all the road floodings and everything for... Um, yeah. I'm gonna guess this is one of our other farmyards up here. If I'm gonna guess, I know it is, because there's a cattle pen. Which I guess I could have entered that way, but I'm wondering through the road that's up here. It really is a pretty like detailed map when you get into all of the stuff with seasons. I'm just not completely sold on seasons. Yeah, there we go. So there's a little textured barn. I highly doubt from the texture of all that we are able to open it. There's a fence that way. So, there's so many farmhouses on this map. Does that mean this is a functional farmhouse as well? Does not appear to be. There's no real equipment. There's a bunch of buildings here. I 
I'm just kind of getting Yeah, I'll give you guys a brief tour. I love the old rebel out, rubble out here. Okay, this one has the cow pen water. Look at there. Now, where'd the animal drop off? There's a question. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is a pig farm. I totally thought it was a cow farm, but it's totally a pig farm. My bad. Um, uh, I am going to go up. Back up a little bit and over. Or no, I see a dirt cut across over there by field 13. Well, I might have to just be able to cross through. If I go this way, it looks like there's a dirt cut across up here. Not where I want to go. I may be wrong there being a cut across right here, but it appears to be a cut across. Really hoping that I cut across. Because if not, I just went the wrong way. Oh no, I want to see if I like really, really, really speed up and just go flying by this guy, whether he'll find me or not. Supposedly, if you fly by these guys, they will pick you. We gotta go back. Mercedes limo, old car, that's really cool. There's onto a fuel station. Wow, there's a bus. And I just tried to speed up and go by that dude, and it did not trigger anything. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please land on you. No. Denied. Like, it just, like, denied me landing on his wheels. Wow, we are already up to seven minutes. This is going to be a longer map tour, and I apologize, but there's a lot to cover. And the fact that I don't know where anything is, and I'm trying to use roads instead of just cutting through fields. Even though on a map like this, where there's a bunch of hedges, even though a lot of hedges. Okay, I'm going to cut through here. I'm going to cut through this way to the farm, because... Well, kind of glad it's sitting on the right, wrong side of the road. That dude was, like, flying. Oh, that's a gate. That's not even what I thought it was. My bad. So this is a... What I believe to be a sheep farm. Or no. Sheep wouldn't have slowy. Honestly, probably another cow farm. I'm gonna open this. So, yep. If you like cows, this is the map for you. Okay, that's why... The milk point. That's a lot smaller of a farmyard. I will say that much. Well, guys, you're getting the true test of not only my driving abilities, but apparently how easy this truck is to roll over. go out this way and try to head towards the horse farm hopefully really narrow roads there's a dirt track up that way see that's the dirt track I thought went all the way through but apparently it doesn't wow that's a drop off into water So, nice, really detailed, ah, a bunch of tight turns, a bunch of tight turns on this map. I'm not really driving down any main roads, so I'll drive down the main road up here. And there's one of the camera traps. So we're about to find out if you get, whoops, ticketed, because I'll head out that way once I leave here, because I'm pretty sure this is a dead end. Also, I would really hate to get, like, a big horse trailer up this road, I would find. It would be hard. So we have a field. Field number 11. Be good to can 
for the hay, I guess. So we have stored for a little bit of equipment here. There we go. I don't know what that is. We have a nice little stable barn here. And you know what I've never seen in this game, even as like a decoration? Western shadow saddles. Okay, it does appear that I'm going to be able to turn around up here, hopefully. Um, they got the horse farm in kind of a nice little dirt road nook. I kind of like it. Even though it's paved all the way to the farm, I would have much rather seen dirt all the way up to this point. That this is a lot of money in pavement. That I don't think was necessary for two fields and a horseman. So guys, we're about to see. I'm gonna head down this road into this little town area that I didn't really show you earlier. And I got a fine of 23 pounds. So we got a soccer field and I'm gonna turn around and head back. My main curiosity was how fast I had to be going to get that fine. Not very fast. So we got a truck stop church. We already kind of saw this little section of town, so we're going to turn around. But, that was my main curiosity, was how much we were going to get fined. Maybe the faster we... Whoops. I would ask them to kill somebody in hope for getting the drive on the right side of the road. Not really. I feel like if I was in real life, I would be more aware of that fact. So, I'm now doing... 60 some mile an hour and I got another fine. Whoa, 819. Wowzer, that was a big jump. Also, since we kind of got to go back this way anyway, to, I kind of want to check out this little cell point here. Oh my. So apparently the thing's really easy to flip. I wish I would have noticed that in the Normally I flip things when I'm on trailers. When I'm hooked to a trailer, I normally don't just flip things unless I'm going way faster than I need to. Um, there's a mod which I'm probably going to install for my regular driving, and that is the set your max speed with your cruise control. Another cell point if I can actually get into it. This is a cell point back there. Oh, I was phasing through something. I'm like, what in the world is going on here? Oh, there's the cell point. Totally not where I just needed to go. There's the entrance to the cell point, guys. Another little concrete park area. That's cool. And when in doubt, I bottomed down on something. Also, I feel like everything in this map is flying in comparison to how fast it wants me to go. I just want to point that out here. That I feel like the game's biased when it comes to how fast it wants me to go. We got another cell point up ahead. And I'm sure I've missed some cell points, guys. Was that a... F I'm curious what this is. And whether or not we can even get to it from here. I'm gonna cut... Please tell me this has no collision. Okay, great. Sorry guys, don't do that in your games. I'm just doing it because... I wouldn't know how to get up back up here. I'm just curious what this is. And I see a little red outline for... There's a possibility we can't get to whatever it is. I just want to know whether it's an airport or what it is. Oh 
watch. I'll drive all the way up here and we won't even be able to get to it. Oh, we can get to it. I do believe. Yep, we can get to it. And yes, this is an airport. That planes apparently take off from and I'm going to assume land again. So that is cool. Don't think I've ever seen that in a map like that. And then we got a little tent area outside. That would be one noisy place to sleep. And I'm on the wrong side of the road for you up again. Another little construction site and a road down to that other main road you're just on. And another cell point here as well as the BGA. Sorry, those are so mumbled I couldn't tell that that was the BGA. Part of the reason I wanted to come up here is I did not want to miss the BGA. <laughs> You guys aren't about to hit a fence. If nothing else, you guys are going to be entertained by my driving skills. Oh, and before we go, I want to go over the cost of some of these fields. I'm going to guess this is another cow farm, and I will have hit all the... Whee, that was not the main road into the farm. <laughs> that was an accident because I was paying attention to my map. There's the milk cell point. So yes, this is another cow farm. I'm gonna guess the water fill up out here somewhere. Maybe I'm blind and I somehow just missed that. But, guys, I really think that should include, like, almost a tr of clue. I can't talk to that. Wow. I talked just fine in the other two videos, but not today. So, let's go over some map pricing here. I want to go over, like... I'm not really not sure what that is. I kind of want to drive down there now. But it, whatever it is, it's 94,000, 100,000, 74,000, 53. I'm kind of, then we'll go 600. Yeah. So the irritable ones, also, how much is this forest? Whoa, that's a lot. And I think it's the only forest in the map. Biggest field on the map is one million eight thousand two hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Well, guys, no, 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 bad. Okay, we'll just escape and I'll finish talking. So, guys, until next time, stay safe, wash your hands. I'll be praying for the families that sadly do get this, and I really hope none of you do. Um, so. Until next time, guys, have a good one. Stay safe. I hope this is entertaining you through this time and beyond. It was just informing you about this map. Also, when brought up this map, I noticed another new map. So there'll be another mod review or map review in the next couple days. So until next time, guys, have a good one.